So people always ask ask me, how do I practice for a TED Talk? And I say over and over and over and over. Like really though, when, you, when you're practicing, you, you're going through those three phases and uh, you, your, your talk is you know, disjointed, discombobulated, then you've kind of memorized it. Then you get to the part where you internalize it. But what you really need to do is you need to practice it in, in different ways. So you need to practice it in front of live audiences for sure. When you get to a point where you think that you ha- have it, go in front of live, live audiences. And really, uh, you have to be careful with live audiences because it'll tell you things like, well, your hair looked really weird. And you're like, I don't care about my hair. Like the only thing I really want to know is, was my idea, uh, d- did it kind of make sense to you both emo- emotionally and logically? Emotionally, did it kind of connect with you? And logically, did it make sense? So when you're practicing, um, a couple things I like to do, add some physical aspect to your practice, like take a walk, uh, go jogging, run. You got to add this kind of thing because it helps to make the connections in your brain. Do it in the shower, do it in the car. When we get towards the end of our preparation, what I have people do when they're practicing too, is I have them, when they get to a certain point, I have them stop giving their presentation out loud, their talk out loud, and only give it in their head. And mental practice is so powerful that I don't recommend doing it until the end because things that you actually practice in your head will really stick. So that's a technique that we use at the end. But up until then, you want to challenge yourself in every way. Give it with distractions. Turn the radio on. Try to give it over the radio, you know. Um, But you have to give it over and over and over again. So you get to that point where you're moving out of uh, just memorizing it and having that blank stare like you're looking at the audience and you're looking right through them to where you're you're 100% present and there and you can have an amazing conversation about your idea.